could this remote traditional agricultural village eventually become recognized as one of the locations that triggered the Third World War in the 21st century. I ask this question because huge changes are occurring in the countryside in China that will apply tremendous pressure on the government in Beijing that could one day lead the government of China to declare war against Japan. The countryside has traditionally been regarded as the safety valve for the Communist Party. When masses of people became unemployed in the towns, it was a simple expedient of ex exporting those unemployed people into their traditional household farm units in the countryside where they could not be a threat to the rule of the Communist Party. They were scattered about a vast country. They were no longer in the towns where they could coalesce, gather in squares like Tiananmen Square in Beijing to express their discontent and pose a political risk. In 1960, 12 million people were sent into the countryside, unemployed people. In 1968, 17 million people shifted into the countryside, got rid of so that they could not create problems in the towns. In 1974, 10 million people exported into the countryside. They could be occupied on the family traditional holdings, very high fertile, albeit very small plots, generating sufficient income for the extended family. Then came 2008, a disaster. 20 million people shifted into the countryside. The boom led by land speculation in North America, in Europe, and yes, here in China, resulted in a crash in 2008 and at least 20 million people had to be exported out of the towns and into their traditional uh, village communities in the countryside. Now here's the problem. Two things are happening to affect the countryside and lock off the traditional safety valve that the Communist Party has used to secure stability in the, in the towns. Stability both in the economy and in their political system. Over the next 10 years, the government is going to drag 100 million people out of the countryside and into towns which they will be building right across China. At least 80 mega urban developments. This means that the government of China is adopting the role of land speculator. In the West, it's the individual corporation or person who speculates in land. Their combined efforts leading to prices ri rising sky high and eventually causing the traditional crash. Here in China, it's the government itself, the might of the Communist Party with its huge surplus uh, cash driving the uh, urbanization uh, for at least 100 million people over the concentrated period of just 10 years. The second thing that's happening in the countryside is that families in their traditional villages were given the right to alienate, to sell their use rights to the land. Many have opted to sell those use rights to capture just a bit of cash in their pockets and to move into skyscrapers in the towns or new dwellings built for them uh, in small lots in the countryside. That means they've lost their independent source of income on the small family plots. When the next crash comes, how is Beijing going to export more than 20 million people into the countryside because many of the homes to which they could have gone have disappeared. In 13 years from now, not just China but the rest of the world will endure peak in property prices. With the land-led boom leading to a bust in 2026 and a crash into the biggest recession the world has ever seen by 2028, how will China solve the problem of many millions of people unemployed in the towns, discontented, no prospect of work? 
why should that contribute to the possibility of an explosion between neighbours, military conflict here in Asia? Already China has told the United States to butt out of the territorial conflict with Japan over islands in the China Sea. Those islands give access to vast oil reserves underneath the seas. Japan has said that it should change its constitution to give itself the right of self-defense in case of, of uh, a military conflict. These are huge trends contributing to the prospect that one day there will be a military conflict between China and Japan. Now, if in 10 years the Communist Party realizes that they can't hope to fall back on the safety valve when the bottom falls out of the economy, they can't expect tens of millions to go into the countryside and earn a living, what are they going to do with those people? Well, one thing they can do is conscript the young males into the army. Why would they want to do that? Won't there be the temptation to use those people in the trenches? Won't it be seen as a way to escape the domestic problems using territorial conflicts as the safety valve in place of the countryside? That's what I fear. China and Japan will decide that they have to resolve who owns those islands in the China Seas. China might decide that it has surplus labor that it can use in that military conflict. Might that be a trigger for World War Three?